This video is brought to you by the Turtle Flakes Podcast. Turtle Flakes, the tasty breakfast treat that tastes just like pizza. Prepare to get shell-shocked. Cowabunga, dudes and dudettes. This is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and welcome to another episode of Totally Tubular Turtle Tuesday, the one show on my channel where I take a look at something TMNT related. But for this episode, I'll be taking a look at the 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Movie Box Set from NECA Toys. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that the entire box is decoed to look like that vintage VHS cassette tape. Turning the box around, we can see more imagery mimicking that VHS. At the top, a couple images of a couple of the figures from this set, and in the center, some famous quote from some famous collectors. Removing the lid, we can see that all four figures are showcased in a window box packaging surrounded by all their accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figures open and see what we have inside. And here are the four brothers out of the box. And man, if you are looking for the most definitive action figures based on the turtles, then this set is definitely it. NECA has done something beautiful and gave us some amazing action figures of our four favorite heroes in a half shell. But before we take a closer look at the figures, let's take a look at the accessories. So this box set does come with a ton of accessories. Starting off, we get the basic weapons for each individual turtle, including the bow staff, two katanas, two nunchucks, and two Psy. We also get four interchangeable bandanas, four extra pairs of interchangeable hands, a TCRI canister, and a pizza box with a full pizza. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at the Ninja Turtles. Man, this is, I have never been so pumped to own some figures in quite some time. These have got to be the best Ninja Turtle figures ever, no matter what company has produced them. I, in my opinion, these are the greatest Ninja Turtles you can possibly own. They are just amazing. NECA just completely killed it and I am so happy to get these. You know, I knew when they made the quarter scale figures that we were eventually going to get these in a smaller scale. So many people fought me for like two years saying, no, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, happen, NECA can't do it, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, don't underestimate NECA, they'll find a way. And sure enough, they did it. And for some reason, I think we're going to get a lot more characters from the 1990 film in this scale. So go ahead and quote me on that. It's going to happen. But these figures are incredible. I know they had a three-day uh, pre-sale online. And e each three days, they sold out in like 10 seconds. And I could not get them online whatsoever. I was so hurt. But luckily, my buddies over at Ageless Geeks got a set for me at the con. And they hooked me up. And I am so glad they did because these are amazing. So let's go ahead and take a look now. Uh, I'm going to start off with Donnie here. Donnie just looks great. The sculpt of each figure and the paint apps are just mind-blowingly good. I love this. Now, for the most part, all the figures do share the same buck, meaning all the same arms, from what I could tell. Uh, there might be some small changes here and there throughout the different figures, uh, but a lot of them do change. I know at least, like, two of each figure do share some parts, and uh, the other two will have different parts. Like, I know he has the same biceps as like Raphael, you know, Leonardo might have the same biceps as like Michelangelo and things like that. Uh, but for the most part, they're all just kind of shared parts amongst the one, each other, with the exception of the heads, of course. The heads are just fantastic, beautifully painted, beautifully detailed. The paint apps is just are just so incredible. What NECA does at this scale is just 
gorgeous, man. They really went all out on this. It just looks awesome. I love how in this film, the turtles really had individual like personalities as far as their faces went, and NECA just captured them amazingly. You can see, you know, Donatello has more of a beak. Uh, then compared to a lot of the other turtles, which looks great. All oh, very, very awesome in detail. Just looks so, so good. Uh, now, he does not have a holster, technically, for his bow staff. I know on the quarter scale, you could kind of slide it through here, and there were some strings that you could just tie this to, and it'll hold very, very nicely. Uh, this scale does not have that, but it does have the little slits right there. We could, I guess you could add your own string if you wanted to and do so, uh, but since I'm not really doing that right now, I kind of just put it in this way. Uh, and it'll hold there just fine. It looks pretty good too. So I think that works until I decide to add my own strings. So very, very nice. Let's take a look at Raphael now. Raphael looks so awesome. Just that that grimace kind of look. Just looks very pissed. The belt looks good. I love the size right there. How they holster that looks so nice. Again, fantastic. The shells for the most part are different. Like look at Raphael's shell right here. You can see he has a lot more scratches and nicks when compared to see things like uh, like uh, Michelangelo's shell. This is more clean and whatnot. Even the patterns and whatnot are different and things like that. So you can tell there are some different characteristics that each turtle has, especially with the paint apps, like things like the spots on the shoulders and whatnot and all throughout the body. They're all pretty much different throughout all the figures, which is very, very cool. Just looks really good, man. Again, the head sculpts, how each turtle really has their own characteristics just looks fantastic man i love that so so much we do get some awesome size right here you can't hold them in either hand or you get like this hand right here and kind of like hold it between the uh fingers we can see do that and then do it like there so you could do something like that if you really wanted to so i love the different options that we get for display i mean oh my god i'm gonna gush over these figures a lot because they are so awesome man so do that one last okay so now i'm going to do um, michelangelo here who is ori the original ninja turtle as far as eastman and laird are concerned uh well as far as we're all concerned right uh again he has a more childlike feature like more his eyes are more big he has a smile and whatnot he has less spots than the other turtles and whatnot again his shell is more clean which is very very cool uh we do get his nunchucks right here we're, they're on a little uh, actual string right here, so that's pretty nice. I love that extra detail like that. Uh, and we can holster them like that. He doesn't really have a specific area to holster them, but you, I just kind of hang them like that. Or you can just get them like so and kind of like just tuck them under here like that. You know what I mean? You can do that too, because and that would make more sense because like, he would just like pull them out that way. You know what I mean? Get ready to do some chucking, huh? Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. But I, for me, I just personally like to hang them like this because it makes it a little easier for them to stay and I don't really have to worry about them falling out whatsoever. The belts are different on all the figures which is very very nice and again it just looks very cool that facial expression just looks fantastic man I mean that is totally Michelangelo from the film and just beautifully done just gorgeous man oh my goodness so much to talk about with this uh, set right here. Now my personal favorite turtle Leonardo the leader that leads right here I love this figure so much he was the first one I popped out of the package, and man, I was probably playing around with him for a good, like, solid half hour, just admiring this toy right here, because, man, Leon, again, my favorite Ninja Turtle, and yeah, he's, he's absolutely the favorite favorite of mine in this set. Got his nice big scabbard here, just think it looks very, very cool. Lots of detail even in that. That's insane how much detail they got, just in the scabbard alone. Looks really, really cool. Definitely that Leonardo face. He definitely has that more of a leader presence and uh, expression. It just looks really good, man. The bandana, all the paint apps in there just look amazing. I can't believe what they did with this. It's so good. Like, man, NECA, you are just making all my turtle dreams come true. He does have these awesome katanas that you get right here. Uh, what I do like, the hands are somewhat gummy. So, uh, and not super, super gummy, but enough to where you flex the fingers enough to actually hold the grip uh, grip the weapons perfectly and they hold in there very very nice I like that a ton which is very cool I do appreciate when hands are just a little soft uh, so you can hold the weapons a little better and I think just it's so awesome man oh that is so cool I love the look of that so so much so I'm gonna take a look at some of the extra accessories now so we do got a ton of stuff uh, so we do get some extra hands and whatnot 
We got these more like open hands like this, more flat hands like this, or doing like a high three, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got these more relaxed hands, uh, more type of gripping hands, even get like a thumbs up hand, which I think is pretty cool. And what's great about all of these, uh, they can be pretty much interchanged with all of the turtles since they all share the same, uh, same skin tone. So it really doesn't matter. You could do it with anything. So if I want to take a Donatello here, pop it off on a little peg like that, take this one right here, and it pops in pretty easily, which I do like. And one thing I will say, hopefully they can do it. NECA did an accessories pack uh, for their larger scale ones. I kind of hope they do that with these turtles too. With like the baby turtles and the little bag of pork rinds and things like that. So I hope, hey, I, I would love a head pack of just having the turtles in different expressions. That would be amazing. So hopefully they even do something like that. Uh, what's cool is we do actually get extra bandanas, uh, the pieces or the tails of the bandanas anyways. Uh, these are more like uh, free flowing ones or more like flying through the air. So what I really do is just take this, unpeg it like so, and then you could take one like this, so you all put it on this side like this, and just pop that in there, and it kind of makes make it look like it, the more flowing in the wind and things like that, or just more like resting it like there. So there's there's different options for display, uh, even with the bandanas, which is pretty awesome. Now I know the larger scale ones uh, did have more of uh, soft goods for the tail ends of the bandanas. Uh, these are more plastic, but I do like the option of having a more uh, like that so it actually gives them a little better display than the soft goods which I do appreciate we also get a box of pizza now this thing is crazy uh, it is actual cardboard which is very nice you can get a big coupon on there you can kind of tell it's like a Domino's pizza thing right but they strategically pasted a coupon over there uh, which is very nice better delivery I mean this thing has all the detailing on there just looks crazy Drivers carry less than $20, you know what I mean? Uh, free delivery, stuff like that. Even the bottom of the box, you can kind of see, let me see if I can lower the light a bit. You can kind of see the like the grease stains in the bottom of the box. And if you open it up, again, you can see like actual grease stains, which I think is very cool. And you can see the cuts where like the pizza slices were and things like that. That's pretty awesome. And we do get enough slices of actual pizza. Oh, let me look right my camera up a bit. To, to make a full pizza so you can get the whole thing you know and put them in there and you can literally make a whole pizza which is amazing and that is freaking cool man NECA you just thought of everything and probably the best accessory I think is this the TCRI canister that is incredibly cool and gorgeously detailed this is one of those accessories that I've always wanted in this scale you know, just really nicely done, and man, this could be really posed with almost any of your turtles. Just nice, bright silver, got the clean paint that's right there, got like that biohazard symbol. You can even see on this side, it is actually a little cracked right there, which I think is awesome. That's awesome, radioactive material, just so cool. And you actually can hold this in one of their hands, which is very nice. So just a very cool option, so you can take this hand right here, and the turtles can actually hold it with like that hand like that, so that's amazing. That is a great accessory. I kind of wish it came with like two, but e e even still, that's that's awesome. I absolutely love that. So a great ex addition to this set. So now I'm gonna take a look at articulation, uh, and I'm actually gonna use Michelangelo for this. So I think he has kind of like the le least amount of stuff in the way. So let's check this out. So the head is on a ball joint, so it does roll around like so, does turn left and right, looks up about that far, down about that much, pivot side to side, arms can go full 360, up and out about that far, actually does rotate on that peg a little bit, uh, double double jointed elbows, it is hindered by the elbow pads just a little bit, but you can do about 90 degrees, rotation in the elbow, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist, just like so, and all the wrists actually do that. There is even a ball peg in the midsection right here. So you can kind of see where I can roll around that upper torso, you know what I mean, within the shell. And no other companies really do that with uh, with the Ninja Turtle figures, with giving us like some type of ab articulation. But uh, NECA does it great, and I think it works out very, very nicely. You can rotate a little bit, even crunch back and forth a bit, you know what I mean? So enough moving in there to really do what you want to do. We got hip joints that kick forward that much, back not so much, a little hindered by the, the shell. We can do the splits about that far, which I think is very nice. It also rotates in that upper ball peg. Uh, we do get double, double jointed knees. Again, hindered a little bit by the knee pad, but not terrible. 
We got ankle joints that allows you to go up and down, rotate a tiny bit, and a very, very good ankle rocker. So, man, overall, oh, these I, I love these toys. Again, this is probably one of the best pickups that I've gotten in a very long time. I, I, ha I haven't been this happy to own a set of toys in a very, very long time, many, many years. Again, maybe it's just because I'm a giant Ninja Turtle fan, but the 1990 movie is that for if you're if you're in your like 30s or 40s, you know this movie has a special place in your heart, just like the 89 Batman film and things like that. And man, these are the definitive Ninja Turtle figures that you could possibly own. NECA has just done amazing work, and I know they're continuing to do a lot more. So from me to you guys, thank you, NECA, for even making these possible. These are just so beautifully done. And I know I'm gushing a lot about them, but they are perfect. To me, they are the perfect Ninja Turtle toys, and I cannot recommend them enough. Now, I know they're expensive in the aftermarket right now, but they are so worth every dollar. They truly will be your favorite Ninja Turtle toys. So if you can find them, I highly recommend them, because they are definitely a must-get. So for a quick size comparison, here they are standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Movie Turtles comparison, here they are standing next to the vintage Movie Star Turtles from Playmates Toys. And for your NECA comparison, here they are standing next to the arcade, cartoon, and comic book turtles, all from NECA Toys. And again, Thank you, NECA, for giving us these awesome collections. And just for fun, here they are standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is, guys. My review of the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Movie Box Set from NECA Toys. Now overall, these are just incredible action figures. They are gorgeously sculpted, beautifully painted, amazingly articulated, and come with a ton of accessories. If you're a giant TMNT fan like I am, and are looking for the most definitive action figures of the Turtles from the 1990 film, then these pieces from NECA are definitely it. They are a must own for any turtle collector, and they are definitely a must get. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Cowabunga dudes, and stay nerdy my friends. Peace.